tonight on WBOZ News at 6. School mask lawsuits, how some on Delmarva are trying to remove school mandates, and we hear from legal experts on their chances of succeeding. Marijuana bill, or on the debates in Annapolis on legalizing marijuana and how people on Delmarva are responding. COVID cash, I'm Hunter Landon in Cambridge with the federal funding on the way for Delmarva's seafood processors impacted by the pandemic. Covering all of Delmarva, this is WBOC News at 6, Delmarva's news leader. Efforts are underway to end school mask mandates through litigation. Good evening. Thanks for being here at 6. I'm Todd Carley. We begin tonight with two lawsuits, one in Maryland, the other in Delaware, both aimed at ending mandatory masks in schools. Our Chris Reimer joins us now in the Newsplex. And Chris, the suits come as mask mandates appear to be close to ending on their own. Yeah, Todd, that's the question people have. Some states have already stopped requiring masks in schools. Delaware is set to end March 31st. So would these suits make any progress by the time this happens? A quick synopsis, a woman in Delaware is suing Governor Carney and the Attorney General. She's claiming the mandatory mask requirement is doing more harm than good to her six-year-old daughter. In Maryland, Maryland, the lawsuit to end masks in schools being pushed by a coalition of parents who argue a similar uh, points, roughly 175 who argued those points. We spoke with several lawyers today to better understand why a lawsuit would be filed and if it could make it through the process in time. Not sure why. Dan says expect wind and rain tonight, the heaviest after midnight. That's it for us tonight here at 6. Thanks for being with us. For news anytime, you'll find it on our WBOC News app. Hope to see you back here in 30 minutes for the news at 7. Have a good night.